World War II, or the Second World War, was a global conflict that lasted from 1939 to 1945. The vast majority of the world's countries, including all of the great powers, fought as part of two opposing military alliances, the Allies and the Axis. Many participants threw their economic, industrial and scientific capabilities behind this total war. Aircrafts would play a major role, enabling the strategic bombing of population centres and the delivery of the only two nuclear weapons to be ever used in war. World War II was by far the deadliest conflict in history, resulting in an estimated 70 to 85 million fatalities, mostly among civilians. With this catastrophic war raging worldwide and millions dying, there was a need for a weapon which could cause the utmost destruction and annihilation to the other side. On one side were the Allies, who consisted of the United Kingdom, the United States, the Soviet Union and China. On the opposing sides were the Axis. Its principal members were Nazi Germany, the Kingdom of Italy and the Empire of Japan. Oppenheimer's mind would be the catalyst that would end the war and an age of destruction. But at what cost? Julius Robert Oppenheimer, known as J. Robert Oppenheimer, was a brilliant physicist whose name will live on in history due to his pivotal role in the development of the atomic bomb during World War II. While he is celebrated as a scientific genius, his story also embodies the ethical dilemmas associated with scientific advancements, especially in the realm of nuclear weapons. Julius Robert Oppenheimer was born on April the 22nd in the year 1904 in New York City to Julius S. Oppenheimer and Ella Friedman. He grew up in a family of affluence, as his father was a successful textile importer. From an early age, Oppenheimer displayed an inquisitive mind and a ferocious appetite for knowledge. His parents quickly recognised his intellectual potential and encouraged his interests, providing him with a nurturing environment conducive to his intellectual growth. In 1922, Oppenheimer enrolled at Harvard University, where he pursued a degree in chemistry. It was during his time at Harvard that he became deeply interested in theoretical physics. This fascination with the emerging field of quantum mechanics and atomic physics would shape the trajectory of his academic pursuits. After completing his undergraduate studies, Oppenheimer embarked on a journey to Europe to further his education and delve deeper into the realm of theoretical physics. He studied at the University of Cambridge, where he interacted with prominent physicists such as Paul Dirac and J.J. Thompson, enriching his knowledge of quantum mechanics. Oppenheimer continued his graduate studies at the University of Göttingen in Germany, a famous centre for physics during that time. There, he worked under the guidance of Max Born, who was known for his contributions to quantum mechanics. Oppenheimer's doctoral research focused on quantum theory, and he completed his dissertation in 1927, earning his PhD with distinction. As Oppenheimer's knowledge grew, tensions around the world were also growing, and by 1939, World War II would be in full effect, and Oppenheimer would be dragged into the fold. The Manhattan Project stands as one of the most consequential scientific and engineering endeavours in human history. Launched during World War II, the project aimed to harness the power of the atom and develop the world's first atomic bomb. Led by the physicist Robert Oppenheimer, the Manhattan Project involved the collaboration of thousands of scientists, engineers and military personnel, ultimately leading to the creation of the atomic bomb and forever changing the course of human history. The roots of the Manhattan Project can be traced back to the discovery of nuclear fission by German physicists Otto Hahn and Fritz Strassmann in 1938. The scientific community quickly realised the potential of nuclear energy, 
both for peaceful purposes and as a devastating weapon. During this time, Adolf Hitler's Nazi regime launched a secret nuclear weapons program with the ambition of obtaining and creating atomic bombs. This initiative, known as the Nazi nuclear program, was driven by a desire for military supremacy and global domination. The Nazi nuclear program was led by a group of prominent scientists, including Nobel laureate Warner Heisenberg and Kurt Deibner. Heisenberg, the most renowned of the scientists, was responsible for overseeing the research and development aspects of the project. However, the level of commitment and enthusiasm among the scientists varied. In response to the Nazi nuclear weapons program, President Roosevelt authorised the establishment of the Advisory Committee on Uranium in 1939. The committee's work eventually led to the creation of the Manhattan Project in 1942, under the direction of the US Army Corps of Engineers. The project's name was derived from the location of its first major laboratory in Manhattan in New York City. The Manhattan Project brought some of the brightest scientific minds of the time, the research and development efforts were distributed across various locations, including New Mexico, where Oppenheimer served as the scientific director, as well as fighting on the ground, in the air, and in the sea. There was also a scientific battle taking place, a race for which side could produce the first weapon of mass destruction. As World War II intensified, the Allied powers became aware of Germany's nuclear ambitions and took measures to disrupt the Nazi nuclear program. The SOE and the OSS launched covert operations to sabotage German facilities and obtain information about their progress. Additionally, the Allies intercepted shipments of uranium ore and key components vital for the nuclear program further impeding its progress. By 1944, with the tide of the war turning against Germany, the Nazi nuclear program faced increasing difficulties. Allied bombing raids inflicted significant damage to German industrial infrastructure, affecting research facilities and hindering progress. Moreover, the loss of key scientists and limited resources due to the ongoing war significantly hampered the program's development. The Nazi nuclear program's failure was a relief for the world, as it prevented the horrific consequences that could have arisen from a functional atomic bomb in Nazi hands. However, it also raises ethical considerations about the role of scientists in military projects, and the potential misuse of scientific knowledge for destructive purposes. Towards the end of the war, Hitler refused to leave Berlin in a political testament to the German nation. However, Japan did not surrender. After years of intense research, the Manhattan Project reached a critical milestone on July 16, 1945, with the successful detonation of the first atomic bomb during the Trinity Test in a New Mexico desert. The awe-inspiring display of raw power left everyone stunned. The success of the Trinity test had profound implications. It provided the scientific validation needed to proceed with the deployment of atomic bombs as weapons of war. Just a few weeks later, the United States dropped atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, hastening the end of World War II and marking the first and only use of nuclear weapons in warfare. The Trinity Test stands as a milestone that forever altered the trajectory of human history. The bombings, resulting in the death of tens of thousands of civilians and the destruction of entire cities, brought about a swift end to World War II. Oppenheimer, after witnessing the devastation caused by the bombings, became deeply reflective about his involvement in the project. He quoted the Bhagavad Gita, saying, Now, I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. 
This phrase reflected his mixed feelings of pride in the scientific achievement and remorse for the human suffering unleashed by the bomb. The end of World War II did not mark the end of the nuclear age. The Manhattan Project's success ushered in the era of nuclear weapons and the subsequent arm race between the United States and the Soviet Union during the Cold War. After the war, Oppenheimer continued his scientific pursuits and remained involved in various research projects. He played a crucial role in advocating for civilian control of atomic energy and was instrumental in the establishment of the United States Atomic Energy Commission in 1946. However, as the Cold War escalated, his stance on nuclear weapons and his opposition to the development of the hydrogen bomb put him at odds with some government officials and scientists. Oppenheimer's political views and past associations with leftist colleagues and organisations during the 1930s and early 1940s attracted the attention of the post-war anti-communist groups in the United States. In 1954, his security clearance was revoked after a highly controversial hearing conducted by the Atomic Energy Commission. The commission accused him of being a security risk, which led to the removal of his access to classified information. Throughout the 1950s and 1960s, Oppenheimer remained active in scientific circles and exerted his influence on science and policy. He served as an advisor to the US government on matters related to nuclear weapons and arms control, even though he no longer had access to classified information. Oppenheimer's legacy extended beyond his scientific achievements. He became a symbol of the ethical dilemmas faced by scientists involved in developing weapons of mass destruction. Robert Oppenheimer passed away on February the 18th in 1967 at the age of 62. Despite the controversies surrounding him, he received numerous honours. In recognition of his contributions to science and his role as the scientific leader of the Manhattan Project, Oppenheimer's name continues to be associated with prestigious awards and institutions. Overall, Robert Oppenheimer's life after World War II was marked by continued scientific work involvement in policy matters, and a lasting impact on the world of physics and ethical discussions, Oppenheimer's story serves as a reminder that scientific progress must be accompanied by a conscientious consideration of its ethical implications. It is a call for the scientific community and society at large to always weigh the potential benefits and risks of groundbreaking discoveries to ensure that knowledge is used responsibly for the better of humanity. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you all soon for another History Profile.